What's going on, YouTube? How are you guys doing on this fine Saturday night? Man, it's been a crazy day. Okay, so tonight what we're going to cover is we're going to cover one topic, one topic only. We're going to cover um, what happened um, here in Portland on the May Day riots. Um, oh, well, back on May Day uh, a few days ago. So um, those of you who don't know, uh, Joey Gibson is a... Um, uh, the founder of P Patriot Prayer um, here in, uh, you know, southwest Washington area, Portland area. He's from actually uh, the other side of the river, Vancouver area. But um, he, there was a, he was in the news and uh, we're going to read the little article that um, Willamette Weekly wrote covering a situation that happened with him and a few of his uh, followers or a few of his friends um at a bar here in portland um just a few days ago uh with our lovely and illustrious antifa uh man so many things to be said about antifa it's i, I just don't know where to start <laughs> you know the funny the, here's the thing um nobody's perfect Right. No side is absolutely perfect. I'm sure if, you know, you were sitting and having a conversation with Joey, he'd say, yeah, things have probably gotten out of hand sometimes. Or, yeah, we're human and we maybe we pushed a little harder than we should have. But the heart of what Patriot Pair is, they are coined as a white supremacist group, a far right group. Um, you know, basically in the lines of, you know, the, you know, the KKK far right uh, extremist alt or alt right type group, and they're anything but. They are absolutely in no way, shape, and or form a far right alt right group. They believe in the Constitution in, in the sense that they're racist bigots who don't like, you know, black people or gay people or brown people or all these other affected groups that that we love to uh, throw. Um, categories on what they are is somebody is they are a group that is um they're a group that is <sighs> believes in freedom and believes in uh, the constitution and believes in our uh, uh bill of rights and the sad part is that we have now become in this uh silly country not this silly country. That was the wrong thing to say. This is this is a great country. Our silly society and culture is become it, it, the words Constitution, the American flag, the Bill of Rights, standing up for your First Amendment and your Second Amendment and any of the amendments to follow is considered far right. It's considered uh, divisive. It's considered bigotry. It's considered uh, um, racist. You're a fascist or a Nazi if you believe in the Constitution and if you believe in America. And here's the thing that these uh, left, far left progressives don't seem to get and would never understand because they won't take the time to sit down and have a conversation. And the reason they won't sit down and have a conversation is they don't believe they can have a conversation with different power classes. And we are the privileged power class. And within postmodern ideology, you can't have conversations with these types of people. So they don't do it. They simply want to fight. They simply want to spit and spray and punch and throw shit. They are absolute dicks, I guess is the best way to put it. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go on a, anybody who knows any, any much about Antifa, right? And, uh, and especially about Portland and the Rose City Antifa knows this. They understand this. And those who don't understand it or are part of Antifa in their privileged minds, because a great mass majority of all the people in Antifa come from what you would you would consider privileged lives, right? Very upper middle class families, um, people that always got trophies, kids that always just grew up angry and entitled and selfish like little brats. So when they get older, they figure that the whole world owes them something. The whole world owes them, uh, you know, is it's their rights. It's their rights, their rights to this, their rights to that, their rights to this. And when they don't get what they weigh, they or when they don't get what they want, they throw temper tantrums. It's really frustrating, but regardless of that, 
getting back to the situation at hand. So Joey Gibson decided to walk down to with a few of his friends down to Cider Riot, Cider Riot, a bar in Portland, where a whole bunch of Antifa turds were having a after party uh, get together. And, uh, you know, after the May Day protests, which were relatively peaceful for the most part. There might have been a little, a couple little squirmishes at one of the parks there, but for the most part, it was, you know, in, in considering what normally Antifa likes to do when they come out, right? Cause these full on destructive brawls. And then, of course, the, the, the conservatives and all those people are the ones who get blamed for it or, or instigating it or what so forth and, you know, so on and uh, so forth. Um, it's anyway, they're the ones who end up getting blamed for it. But, uh, because they defend themselves, they end up standing up for themselves. Enough's enough. And they end up, you know, getting in some fist fights with these people because these people will attack them and throw shit on them and throw piss on them and spray them with mace and call them names and assault them. Anyways. So the Willamette weekly wrote an article. We're going to do two things tonight. I'm going to read you the article. The Willamette weekly wrote on Joey Gibson, that Joey Gibson is getting sued. And I'm going to show you just, and anybody who knows Willamette weekly in this room around here knows that it is a far left progressive publication. If you can even call it that. I mean, the farthest leftist idea, uh, ideologies and ideas are just spouted and praised within Willamette, Willamette Weekly. They are as biased as they come. And so they wrote this complete hit piece on Joey Gibson. And it's so interesting. So we're going to read what they wrote. And then we're going to watch what happens and we're going to break it down. We're going to break it down piece by piece. I'm going to show you what they wrote and how they spun it and how the majority of people in Portland, the leftist progressives in Portland who weren't there, they're going to read this and think that this is exactly how it went down. This is what happened, right? And other people who don't know much about what's going on in this town are going to think that this is how it happened. But then we're going to look at what happened and we'll break it down piece by piece. Okay, so... Uh, the article I'm talking about, let me bring it up and over here. There it is. Oh, no, you don't see it. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay, now you see it. Okay, so let me read the article to you. The article goes, the owner of Cider, uh, first off, owner of local bar sues Joey Gibson after fist fights and pepper spray on May Day. Patriot Prayer exists as a cipher for another violent, uh, for other violent groups to conduct paramilitary actions in the Portland military or metro area. Un, effing believable that that's how they, that's their tagline of Patriot Prayer. Really funny. Anyways, let's read this story. The owner of Cider Riot, a Northeast Portland bar, filed a one million dollar lawsuit against Joey Gibson, leader of the far right protest group. Patriot Prayer for instigating a brawl outside the bar. The suit filed this afternoon in Multnomah County Circuit Court alleges Gibson interfered with a business at Cider Riot on May 1st. After he showed up to expose anti-fascist protesters who had gathered at the bar after participating in a largely peaceful May Day demonstrations. The suit also names Ian Kramer, who was accused of striking a woman with a baton to the back of her head hard enough to knock her unconscious, along with 25 unnamed right wing defendants who participated in the clash. Patriot Prayer exists as a cipher for other violent groups to conduct paramilitary actions in the Portland metro area, the suit says. Their activities have culminated in a number of protests marked by state and right wing violence. And it, yeah, it's their fault. It's a, the activities, their activities have a, have culminated in a number of protests. It's it's Patriot Prayer's fault. There's been there's been this violence at these protests. Give me a break. That's such a lie, a blatant lie. Patriot Prayer's strategy and intent for doing so is to a force a conversation with leftist groups by simply either conducting a protest of their own or a march of their own and having Antifa attack them because they are, uh, um, you know, these fascist, racist Nazis. And then uh, Patriot Prayer ends up defending themselves, right? That's one of the ways they force confrontations. Or they do, do, uh, um, you know, um, 
counter protests when Antifa's protesting or marching or doing all these things. And, and several times they've been there as like protection of other groups that are that are out, you know, doing like in a, a pro-life bomb march or something. They, they go out on some of these as protection because of what Antifa does to come out and attack these protests. Right. Uh, the murdering of babies. And that's just absolutely horrendous and, and fascist and Nazi and whole, uh, all these other things with, that we want to defend babies. I digress. So that's one thing they do. They force confrontations. They actually what they do. I'm going to say one more thing here. They stand their ground. That's what they do. They stand their freaking ground is what they do. And they push back to all these other vajayjays that come after them. And B, they utilize police departments and city governments into imposing harsh crowd control measures on leftists. That's a bunch of crap, too. Uh, they don't do... That is a lie. I don't understand how they get away with this. They utilize police... Well, they sure as hell don't utilize the police departments in Portland because of our turd mayor, right? Our, 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 our weak, noodle turd mayor who's told the police to stand down so Antifa can riot and destroy crap and attack cars that just want to get to work. Old men driving Toyota Camrys trying to get to work and Antifa's blocking off the roadway and so they inch through and all of a sudden they're beating the car up and punching at the drivers. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but it's Patriot Prayer's fault. Yeah, it's pa- Antifa, man, they're angels. They're just little, they're just little angels. Fucking turds. And, um, and by the way, there's been plenty of times that they've been assaulted and police don't do jack about it, right? So Antifa's saying that they utilize police departments. Oh, is that because of the text gate that um, uh, uh, Ted Wheeler and, and the leftist um, politicians here in Portland, Oregon, threw out that... Uh, um, that whole made a big deal of this a couple months ago, saying that Je- Joey and the police uh, um, department were in cahoots together. Is that what we're talking about? How he util- utilizes police departments? So shit. And C, they intimidate groups into not showing up. Give me a break. Hello, pot, uh, pot I'm Kettle. That's what Antifa does. Anytime there is a there is a, a conservative march plan or a conservative protest plan, that is exactly what Antifa is all about, is intimidating other groups not into showing up. And that was one of the reasons why Patriot Prayer even united and began in the first place, because of there was uh, no pushback when Antifa and these crazy leftist com- communist wannabe, you know, post-mark, post-modernist cultural Marxist pieces of dog crap when they were when they were attacking other people so that's one of the reasons why patriot prayer even began in the first place so that's all lies so just everything you know that are just read just thus far to you so far that's pretty much all lies okay the lawsuit mentions in a uh, the suit mentions a history of violent incidences involving Patriot Prayer, including an attempt in January to crash a Democratic Socialist of America meeting at the Industrial Workers of the, of the World Union Hall in Southeast Portland. Uh, they went down and stood on the sidewalk and they wanted to talk to the to, to them and, and have a have a, you know, a basic debate or, you know, held some signs up and walked on the sidewalk in front. If that's what you call about crashing, um, you know, their, their attempt to uh, crash their Democratic Socialist of America meeting. Hello, what do you do, Antifa? Antifa, what do you do? Oh, I can't stand them. A week later, an unidentified person spray-painted Antifa messages on the IWW building, vandalized a mural at the site of riot, and left graffiti on the Democratic Party of Oregon offices. Now, see, what they fail to tell you here is that there was three or four uh, people in the the, uh, um, Patriot Prayer Group, one of which is a black man, and I forgot his name, who were leaving, who were, one night were leaving and got jumped, right? They were, they were up in Southeast Portland. I'm not going to get all the details perfect here, but I'm going to get the essence of the details good. They were in Southeast Portland walking down a sidewalk, and Tifa saw them, called up all their goons, and they got jumped by like about five or six guys. And uh, um, I believe it's Ian. I'm not sure, but I think it's Ian. I don't know his name, but... The black dude gets cracked in the head with a baton, splits his head open, and gets put in the hospital by Antifa. And they were doing nothing but minding their own damn business. 
minding their own damn business, walking on a public walkway, and Tifa jumps them in the middle of the night, cracks them. Very, very um, tolerant of you, Antifa, and very non-racist of you, Antifa, that you would absolutely attack. I thought you guys stood for, you know, uh, against racism and Nazism and fascism, your whole little, you know, funny little term you guys run by Antifa. Give me a break, man. You guys are you guys have more fascist tendencies than than anybody in modern day society right now, except for possibly the true KKKers and the true alt right white nationalists, white supremacists. You guys are exactly like them. You guys did. You guys are just exactly like them. They hate but these white nationalist scumbags hate black people and brown people and want to unite. You know. Keep the race, you know, keep, keep us white, huh, right? And you guys are like the, the, the antithesis of that. Anything that doesn't line up with your crazy-ass leftist uh, ideology, anything that is against that, anything of conservative values or logic that you want, that people want to discuss with you, you then treat them as, if, as, as the white nationalists treat the black people. They are scum of the earth. They are not to be even talked to. They are not to be even recognized as human beings. We are to mock them. We are to ridicule them. And we are to assault them whenever we can. That is what you do, Antifa. That is what you do. (sighs) A week later, an unidentified... (coughs) Excuse me. A week later, an unidentified person spray-painted Antifa messages on the IWW building. Yeah, um, pretty sure that was a false flag attack. Pretty sure it was and because it got a lot of it got some news coverage, too. But again, we didn't cover the whole like Antifa jumped and beat somebody up before the vandalization happened. Right. We didn't talk about that. Gibson denies that his followers had anything to do with the vandalism. A quick little blurb like that. On May 1st, Gibson and his followers approached an outdoor patio outside Cyber Riot, where several dozen black clad protesters had gathered. He allegedly He allegedly, sorry, read something, yelled at the anti-fascist group, taunting them to do something. Hang on a second here, guys. Let's back this Willamette Weekly story up. You're going to notice when we watch the video that Joey didn't walk up like, do something, do something, do something. He walked up because he wanted to show where all the Antifa turd sucks hang out at. And so he was outing Cyber Riot. So he walked up on a public walkway, on a public sidewalk, and he starts getting accosted, spit on, pushed, threatened. He's getting accosted. Did he have a little smug smile on his face? A little bit. Was he probably enjoying the enjoying getting him so worked up? Probably. Because he knew that if any one of those little pussies was to lay a hand on him, he could have he just could have murked him. So um, he was he was down there not to cause a riot, but also not scared just to go somewhere in Portland. At first, when I watched this, I did think and if Joey ever watches this, he, you know, here's what I thought. I'm like, come on, Joey. I, the first time I watched, I'm like, you probably didn't need to just walk down there and, you know, not instigate it. But, you know, just poke the bear. Then I got to think and I'm like, that's, that's that's stupid that you think that, Steve. He was walking down where a whole bunch of Antifa scumbags were outside drinking on a public sidewalk. And the thought that somebody in, the, in this country, in this world, especially in our country, can't walk down a, po- a sidewalk without being accosted by a mob and having them all wanting to just spit on him, screaming at him, calling him names, that is not Joey Gibson's fault. Because he walks down there and he gets attacked by these crazy people Frickin' lunatics. What's going on, disabled vet? Glad to have you in here tonight, man. Anyways, reading on. In a video of the initial class, one man standing near Gibson pepper sprayed the people on the patio. Wrong. Nope, that's wrong. Who immediately fired back with bear mace. Nope, that's wrong. From what I watched, maybe I'll stand corrected, but it sure as shit looks like the first people that sprayed were the people on from Cyber, cyber Riot. It. We're going to watch the video, but it sure as hell looks like the people from Sia Rabbit sprayed first. But that's a nice way to put it in there. That's a nice way to put it in. Who, who is this person that I should be referring to? Katie. That's a real nice way to put it in there, Katie. That's a, way, that's a good way to write that, Katie. Gibson. Um, 
in the video class, one man standing in there. A brief skirmish broke out with people on both sides throwing glasses and rocks. The lawsuit says Gibson then became ringmaster for a one-on-one fistfight between two men in the street, one right wing, one left wing. I believe this is a, uh, um, what do they call it, a, uh, a consensual combat or a uh, uh, state anyways or city, I believe. I know it used to be. I think it still is. If two people agree to fight, that they can fight. If two people want to fight and they agree to it, I believe it's legal. It used to be. So, anyways. Gibson then facilitated and refereed a street fight between the two persons outside Cyber Riot. Cider Riot, the lawsuit alleges. He dictated the rules and kept others from intervening while live streaming to his followers. Gibson continued to antagonize the patrons of Cider Riot. And you know what? Honestly, that probably... I'm not... If, if this is all true probably wasn't maybe the best thing the the best optics right to encourage that and referee it it was sure would have been funny i gotta tell you that it would have been entertaining but probably maybe not the best optics right i'll give you that but i don't believe it's illegal anyway <laughs> and at least he was refereeing man make sure nobody gets stomped out and it's funny because afterwards he shakes hand with the the antifa dude who won he won and then I believe he was like, okay, we'll leave now. I think it was like, well, if these two guys fight, whoever wins, if you guys win, we'll leave. And I believe he was going to grab everybody and leave. I think that's what just happened. I think that's what was supposed to happen. Not 100% sure. He dictated the rules and kept the others from intervening while live streaming to his followers. Gibson continued to antagonize the patrons at Cider Riot, who, um, whom were trying to force his retreat. And he, the way this is written, it's just like, and Tifa was the innocent ones, and it was big bad Joey Gibson that was just being so antagonistic to him. Defendant Ian Kramer, um, a frequenter of Patriot rallies, an associate of Gibson, used a baton to crack Cider Riot patron on the head, knocking her unconscious. Yeah, pro- after they were attacking the shit out of him, wasn't just because he walked up and whacked somebody. And like that is anything at all. That's like anything at all that Antifa can can point the finger at. They have posts and be or steel rods and they swing and they hit people. They got bike locks almost killing people. They're just standing there and they cold clock them. I mean, come on. They wrote the book on hitting people in the head with rods. The only reason Patriot Prayer started packing some of those rods is because of how, how many times they got assaulted. To where they had to start coming with helmets and ski masks and their own, you know, batons because they've gotten attacked so many damn times by the turds Antifa. The lawsuit alleges that the woman suffered a vertebrae fracture, which was the most serious injury reported during the incidents. The woman has not spoken to police, although anti-fascist organists are raising money for the medical care. Although there was limited property damage, the lawsuit says Gibson acted negligently trespassed and initially inflicted emotional dis- distress on the patrons of Cider Riot. Oh, he made him feel emotionally uncomfortable. Police did not show up until after the conflict had largely dissipated. Um, here's the thing. I didn't see him once trespass. He didn't once trespass. Uh, not on the videos I've seen. He always stayed either in the street or on the sidewalk. So that's a lie, too. Katie, no property was damaged other than a few pint glasses broken, but one of my customers was knocked unconscious and one of Joey's goons was attacking people with a baton and spraying people in the patio with pepper spray. What a lying piece of shit. The Antifa sprayed way, way, way more mace than anybody else did. The video clearly shows it. It says Abram Goldham Armstrong. Of course, he has a hyphenated name who owns the cyber riot. He also says a dog was injured by a right-wing brawler. Oh, poor doggy. We have been receiving death threats and abusive phone calls and social media posts. Oh, wow. That's weird. Do you guys ever do that to anybody else? Huh, Antifa? Has Antifa ever, uh, you know, let's see. Let's look at this. Let's think about this for a second. Has Antifa ever given anybody death threats? They wrote the book on giving people death threats. Um, or abusive phone calls, or social media posts. And Joey is apparently trying to attack again tonight while we host a documentary screening. Dun, dun, dun. Documentary screening on how to be a communist. Communist heard. Is that what the document, documentary is on? Indeed, Gibson encouraged his social 
follow or indeed gibson encourages social media followers to leave negative reviews on site or riot facebook and yelp pages <coughs> okay so now it's joey's fault that you've gotten bad you got bad yellow pages and yelp reviews now that's joey's fault too you're a retard he also posted a link to a movie screening planned at the bar on may 3rd when asked about <sighs> When asked by Willamette Weekly about the lawsuit, Gibson said he's unconcerned. I think that's great because they have to spend money for their lawyers, my, my lawyer, and the fines coming down on them for allowing drunk customers to spit and spray me with pepper spray numerous times while they're on the side of riot property as I am standing on a public sidewalk, Gibson tells Willamette Weekly in text messages. They also, uh, uh, they also allowed their security at the front door to attack a neutral journalist who was seeking help from the owner at the front door. I, I, I show, I'll show it's apparent on the video that's what happens a kid gets his video or his his camera's uh, broken and then some a leftist turd grabs the lens i think up off the ground and runs into the bar and so this completely neutral guy wasn't with joey was just journal was just covering it goes in to get his stuff back and this big ass you want to talk about goons huh katie you want to talk about goons why don't you watch the video katie Huh? Why don't you watch the video and see the big goon in the red shirt that steps out and gets in the face of uh, uh, this journalist who's trying to get his video cam or his property back? There's your goon, Katie. Golden Armstrong, Goldman Armstrong, is being represented pro bono by lawyers at the Oregon Justice Resource Center. Of course, he is. Uh, he is or she is or they are. For far too long, Portlanders have been terrorized by Joey Gibson and his adherents. They've been terrorized. Joey Gibson is terrifying. Do you understand? He's terrifying. He's scary, man. He's a scary white nationalist Japanese. Half Japanese, white supremacist, scary guy. Morons. Says Juan Chavez. One of the OJRC lawyers representing the bar, Patriot Prayer and Associate Associated individuals and groups have repeatedly invaded our city, seeking to cause trouble, intimidate communities, and impede economic activity. I think what you meant to say there was Antifa and their associates, associated individuals and groups have repeatedly invaded our city. Check, seeking to cause trouble. Check, intimidated our communities. Check, and impeded economic activity. Check. Man, that's Antifa. You 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 spelled Antifa wrong up there, Katie. You spelled the Patriot Patriot Prayer, but that's not how you spell Antifa, right? That's what Antifa's done. Our client's complaint seeks recognition of the compensation for the damage Joe Gibson and the Patriot Prayer are doing to a law-abiding Portland business. It's because he went on Lars Larson and he went on InfoWars and he went on some uh, national news sites and called your shit out. That's why you're upset. Because the OLCC, if they're worth a shit and if they're not also going to be completely in the leftist back pocket and not going to be completely um, biased to this whole situation, the OLC is going to come down on you, Mr. Goldman Armstrong, because of your piece of crap patrons and what they did that's what's gonna happen it's not joey gibson's fault that he's walking down a sidewalk and you're a bunch of corralled up little babies little uh, you know 10 year old fit throwing babies wanting to cause a brawl with them have a good night disabled vet Glad to have you, Ian. We need to send a message that their brand of hate is not welcome in Portland. Mm. That is true if we're talking about Antifa. And that's exactly what Patriot Prayer, <coughs> excuse me, and Joey Gibson's been doing. I swear, man. Whoever this, uh, this Juan Chavez, he just, I think he meant to say right up in here. Um, I think, uh, let me see here. I, I think like right here. Right. That area. It says Patriot Prayer. But I really think because I think he meant to write Antifa. I think he got confused because every single thing he said in this paragraph applies perfectly to Antifa. 
I think he meant to say Antifa. Anyways, all right. So let's click over here and let's watch this video from the beginning. Okay, let's watch this video. Let's just find out everything. You just read the article, how it was spun. Let's watch and see what happens. Hey, fuck you! Antifa saying fuck you to Joy Gibson walking across the road. Okay. There's a public sidewalk. Salty. There's a public sidewalk. Salty. There's a public sidewalk. Calm down. There's a public sidewalk. Public sidewalk. De-escalate. There's a public sidewalk. Hey, it's Antifa bar right here. You're so angry. Check it out. Why are you angry? So see, right now, he's calling him out. He's calling him out. And then his and his friend, I forget this guy's name. I think this is the dude that in that one in my Antifa, my Make Antifa Go Away song. This is the one where that scene where the dude just gets cold cock, just crack and just go boom. You know, his head gets bounced off the pavement, which is scary when you see that guy's head hit the pavement. He went out cold. But, I mean, he had it coming. He was attacking this dude right here, right? He was attacking. Oh, I'm in the way. He was attacking that guy. Wrong way. He was attacking this dude right here. With a baton, anyway, in uh, in that one video. But anyway, let's carry on here. So these people are out on the sidewalk assaulting Joey Gibson. Doesn't look like Joey Gibson is instigating. He's walking down a sidewalk. He's not instigating the fight with them. But he is getting a little too close to their safe space. So there's that. Demascus. Demascus. Demascus, right you little fucking fat. Yeah, look, 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 yeah, yeah, another yeah. Shot. You crazy in those eyes. Where's Gopher? You want another MI? Go ahead. It's ticking. What's MI? It's a mouth guard. It's a mouth guard. You have no idea what I had. You have no idea what I had. Your intelligence is worse than I thought it was. Damn it, I already did. You did? I did. You did? You're so proud of yourself. I am. We're just standing out on the sidewalk. Now, now again, at first when I watched this, I was like, okay, but dude, why you got to be down there, like, kind of pushing their buttons, right? That could be the only thing that you could say against Joey. It's like, all right, maybe you didn't need to push their buttons. But then again, why can't a guy come down here and walk down the sidewalk and make a live stream video saying, hey, guys, this is where Antifa hangs out, side of riot, all standing out there with their masks and in their black apparel and in their communist freaking manny minds of theirs. They're, you know, and he's out there. He's laughing. He's being a little cocky, but but it's it's kind of an justifiable cocky, if you ask me. It's kind of like he, he's poking the bear, but just to show if these people really had a, a justifiable cause and whatnot, if they weren't so stupid to actually think Joey Gibson is a Nazi fascist white supremacist, then they would just laugh right back at him and say, yeah, that's where we're hanging out. And sure, he's not going to cause a riot and a fight. He's down there pointing them out, and they're the ones causing the problems. So right here is where, like in that article, right here in this is in that article is where he said, um, do something. And he said, do something right now because these guys are out there saying they're, they're threatening him and they're spitting on him. And they're threatening him. And he's just basically like, I'm on the public property or pub, pub, public uh, sidewalk. If you can do something, do something. Don't just stand there, and, you know, screaming and spitting on me. If you're going to do something, do something. But they're not going to do anything because they just know they'd get worked. They'd get murked. Do something. Get spit on. You guys spit on me. Now you got this little Talk it up. 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 Talk it
Right there is actually assault when you spit on somebody. <laughs> it's actually assault when you spit on somebody. Now, I don't know if that guy should have done that, honestly speaking. I, you know, the way he shoved her back. I mean, she's, a, she's an absolute piece of crap, right? But I, I think it would have been a little more effective had, he ha effective had he not done that. He's a little amped up. I think that could have been a little more effective. And it could have made a, put Joey in a bad position, too, right there. Because it could have just, you know, all these turds could have bum rushed out. But, okay, there's that. Hold me back, hold me back. As she's holding me. Hold me back, don't let me out. Don't let me out. As she's holding on to her. Don't let me out of here. I'm, hold me back, I'm a crazed animal. I'm a crazed animal. Right there, boom. He sprays first. Well, I'm at weekly. I don't see any mace coming in from this direction. He sprays first. So your article's a bunch of shit. <laughs> Duck and cover. Spray. Spray. So then they spray back. Yeah, they hit him back. They push him back. Hey, fuck off with your glass bottle bullshit, fuckers. Throwing glass, throwing glass bottles at him, right? But again, it was Joey who started the run. <laughs> Joey right there, don't throw anything, let them be violent. He's not inciting crap. He's saying, he's, he's de-escalating, saying, Dad, don't, don't throw anything. Let's just stand here on the public sidewalk and out them and just let them, not even out them, let them out themselves. Yes, we do. Oh, you need a shower. Oh, you need a shower. Yeah, communists will make us way freer. You're right. We're dumb. We're dumb. We just live in the freest country in the world. And we have the bet the most rights in the world, especially at this point of with freedom of speech. But you're right. We're dumb. We're so dumb. We think we're free and we're not. Yeah, you're so free. You're so free in your chaotic movement. That is such freedom. That's right, flip, bitch.
<laughs> I like the fact that you have the silly spring and not the pepper spray like everybody else. Man, I just got silly spray. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking, uh, kudos. That's what I'm See, at least these, the, whoever this, you know, f kind of neutral cameraman is, at least they can joke around with this guy. I would prefer. Oh, 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 you want to know where the hell is? Oh, 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 you have a heart attack, Trigley. You have a little much. You have a heart attack. Now, that guy needs to probably chill it out a little bit. He's kind of being a little over the top in my mind. But, you know, he's also been attacked several times. And again, it's interesting how this white supremacist, white nationalist group has a black dude on their side, right? It's funny because this is the type of guy that these Antifa turds would call an Uncle Tom. They've done it before. Oh, shit. So right here. Dude's camera gets busted. Right there. This kid here gets his camera busted. The lens falls down. And one of these Antifa fa um, fart faces um, grabs it and runs back into the bar. I can jack this camera. Completely neutral guy. Just completely. Get the fuck out of here. Now watch that guy coming out of the door. Watch this. He tries to go in to get his equipment back. And this dude, right there, that big red tatted up idiot, gets in his way and stops him. Look at that. He gets assaulted. Just trying to get his equipment back. I guess I don't even know what that word means. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Oh, come on, he's ready. Oh, fuck. He can't even spray his pepper spray. He sprays his pepper spray like a complete total girl. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Nancy. Hey, go back yeah, to your you, Yeah, none of you asked me to come here. Big deal. Do I need your invitation to walk on a public sidewalk? No, I don't. I didn't say, why? Why are you here? To expose, to expo exactly. I should have just let Joey say it. But Joey says, to expose the hateful crap you guys are. Why would they act that way? They can come to our bar. Is this okay? 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 We were peaceful. We all have a right to say and do what we want. We have the right and we were peaceful. You came here to this public sidewalk and you caused us to act this way. I always got a trophy when I was a kid and nothing was ever my fault. It's always somebody else's fault. This is not our fault that we're acting like this. You are walking on a public sidewalk, triggering us. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> Yeah, you run and we step forward and just stand in the
Would they bust about a thousand dollars for equipment on you? Well, just the lands, or is your housing still okay? Yeah. Yeah. You're made for that, man. This guy was trying to continue me. That's assault? Oh, yeah, you were a little late to the party there, Red, Red, Red Boy. You are a little late to the party, man. Your buddies are already way past assault. Man. Should go to get you. Fuck you, How's living out your parents, Joey? Yeah, Joey. Who's watching your mom right now? How many of your friends? I think we trained. Oh, the guy threatening his mom. Who's watching your mom right now? And they got Trigglypuff here. Whoa, she's trying to hide behind that little bush, but it ain't quite working out for her. What's happening to your parents? What are you doing? But I do kind of wish that some of the guys on Joey's side wouldn't have thrown so much stuff back because it just would have, it just would have really, you know, uh, put an exclamation point on the crap these guys were pulling. Look at the fucking milk. Milk, uh, get to the proud boy in the girl. Can I have some of shit? Shit. Can I have some shit? Yeah, go for it. Leaking them, leak them in, leak them in. See what this part is.
Now they start walking away and all these tough guys start coming out right after following them. Hold the lines like you like it to. Oh, he's got brass knuckles. Hang on a second. Homie's got some brass knuckles here. This, uh, that, that's illegal, bro. You, uh, that, that's, uh, considered a deadly weapon. He's got brass knuckles all up in his giz. See that? Brass knuckles in there. That was funny. Uh, that was kind of funny. Knuckle boy right there. Right there. 
You got Brass Knuckle Boy right here. I think he lives in his parents' basement. Okay, so I think they're going to leave now. Okay, goodbye. Sorry, you got pop, brother. I just walk by and make noise. Oh, cool. You're not gonna hit me. You're not gonna hit me. Bam. Hey, 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 hey. What did I fucking do for that? The fuck did I do for that? you look in the bathroom for a shower why don't you start there that's not okay i'm dirty i'm homeless i live here i do rights i pay taxes you don't like it then there's something wrong with your humanity figure the fuck out See, that's not cool. That part of it's not cool. But Joey wasn't trying to, he was trying to. That's not cool, cracking somebody in the skull. Oh, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, you stay back, fall back, fall back, you will fall back, fall back. Fall back. 
Go back here. 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 Go the fuck yeah, back. I'm not your enemy. Fucking stay back. Yes, you are. Well, I am not. So I've been filming the whole time. I was there by myself before they fucking showed up. I have a sick of instigated shit. You guys pepper spray me, do all sorts of shit. I haven't done one thing to you fucking You're on their side. Fuck, I know you don't know shit about me. Fuck off. Oh, yeah, fuck off with yeah. your weapons and your bullshit. You're aggressors. And center yourself. Center yourself. Yeah, we're gonna go go to our job, working for the man. Yep. That was pretty much the end of that one. So, <clears throat> there was some blame there at the end with the with the crack of the the. Uh, but but it's hard to see what happens off camera. Benefit of the doubt, hard to see what's off camera. But that that one kid, that one black kid, kept inskating when they when they were going to just call it a day. But prior to that, him going down there, I don't see there being any problem with that. I, I felt like that was, and, and it, it's pretty apparent how absolutely insane though and tifa acts there would have been no problem had they just been like lapped it off the joey came down there was on the sidewalk pointing them out if you're not that insane insane group then you know a lot of the stuff wouldn't have uh wouldn't have even gone down anyway see if i got anybody left in the chat holy cow we're up to 11 people all right man i didn't even know how many people were in the chat so uh yeah <laughs> Holy cow, man. I didn't know I had that up on my full screen, so I didn't even know I had these many people in the chat. I thought last I looked, there was three. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I kind of think that that whole thing when that dude cracked the person in the head at the end, that wasn't cool, you know. I'm filling with GMOs and with other gluten. <laughs> That's funny, Nick. That is funny. Nick says, I'd get a couple so super soakers and fill one of them with GMOs and another one with gluten. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh. When is this footage from? When is this footage from, peeps? Look at those tolerant little soy. This is from a few days ago. Yeah, here in Portland. Uh, two or three days ago here in Portland. Yeah. It is uh, pretty freaking insane, the whole thing. So Joey Gibson, the guy that had the sunglasses on and the, the hat, the gray hat on, that's Joey Gibson. He's getting sued right now for a million dollars. And uh, I, since I didn't think I had anybody in the chat when I read this earlier. I'll read it one more time. Um, I'll put this up and I'll read it. So uh, you guys just watched all the footage, right? Or mostly at least. So um, let me see if this is going to pull that footage back up. No, it did not. Why? Where are you at? Where are you at, my footage? Where are you at? Oh, because I went to the wrong one. Gosh, there we go. There we go. So basically, I'll just read this real quick again. Um, this is how the Willamette Weekly wrote the story. So that guy right there, Joey Gibson, you saw him in there. He's getting sued for a million bucks by the bar owner. He went on Infowars and also with Lars Larson here in town and uh, interviewed. And basically, like Lars Larson was saying, I bet the OLCC, the Oregon Liquor Control Commission, uh, which licenses all the bars in town to be able to have a liquor license, would be pretty interested in this footage and interested in this story and would probably pull the liquor license from them because of the whole the, the brawl that broke out that was m primarily more instigate more promoted if you will from antifa than joey gibson joey gibson went down there to show everybody where all the antifa turds were and they just started freaking out spitting on him yelling at him uh, pepper spraying him then they had the little mutual combat fight, right? And they basically the deal was if whoever we know, if we lose, we'll leave, right? If we lose, we'll leave. And so the guy that was fighting for Patriot Prayer, <laughs> which is kind of funny, I guess. Anyway, um, the conservatives uh, lost, and so they shook hands. You saw it, and they were going to leave. And then that one black guy kept instigating because he was all fired up. 
And it's off camera, so we don't know who cracked the chick wi in the head with the baton. But she got knocked unconscious, and I guess has got a cracked vertebrae. So that's really bad. That's really bad. But Joey, at that point, was like, okay, we're leaving now. We're done. We're out of here. We're leaving. And then the black kid was like, kind of kept instigating. And they're trying to pull him back as best they can. And then somebody cracked her. We don't, I don't know who it is because it's off camera. But um, at any rate, uh, this is how they spun the story. They said the owner of the cyber a cider riot northeast Portland bar fill, filed a one million dollar lawsuit against Joy Gibson, leader of far right protest group Patriot Prayer, for instigating a brawl outside the bar. I won't comment on this. If you guys want to hear my comment on my you know my commentary on this, go back and watch the beginning of the, the stream. The suit filed this afternoon in Multnomah County Circuit Court alleges Gibson in a. Uh, interfered with the business at Cyber Riot on May 1st after he showed up to expose anti-fascist protests who had gathered at the bar after participating in the largely peaceful May Day demonstrations. The suit also names Ian Kramer, who was accused of striking the woman with a baton to the back of the head, her head hard enough to knock her unconscious, along with 25 unarmed or unnamed right-wing defendants who participated in the clash. Patriot Prayer exists as, uh, as a cipher for other violent groups to conduct paramilitary actions in the Portland metro area, the suit says. Their activities have culminated in a number of protests marked by state and right-wing violence. Patriot Prayer's strategy and intent for doing so is to A, force a confrontation with leftist groups, uh, B, utilize, which is everything Antifa does, uh, utilize police departments and city governments into imposing harsh crowd control measures on the leftists, as if Joey, uh, Joey Gibson is in, the, in bed with the, with the cops. And if you don't know, there was a couple months ago, there was a whole thing where the, the uh, sergeant of the Portland Police Department and Joey Gibson had exchanged some text messages. But the same sergeant also gave his number to, to some of the leaders of the Antifa group, Portland Rose City Antifa, and Antifa hates the cops, so they never communicated with them, and there was nothing nefarious going on other than um, them saying, hey, you know, maybe it's not a good day today to do this, or, you know, th they exchanged nothing like, co you know, like uh, um, all uh, uh, cloak and daggery, covert, like communications. Anyways. Uh, they claim that, you know, the police are on the, the, the side of the, the Antifa, although the police, are, have we seen in the articles or we've seen in the, the stories about how Antifa blocks streets and old people trying to get to their jobs wherever they're going and they're driving in their, car, you know, Toyota Camrys, get their car beat up and get yanked out of their car and get smacked around because they're just simply trying to drive down the street. It's just ridiculous. And C, they're to intimidate groups into not showing up. <laughs> Again, Antifa's far worse than that. They like to come out and intimidate other people from not showing up. It's, it's pretty hilarious, the hypocrisy of all this. Oh, anyways, uh, I don't feel like reading the whole article again. Go back and read it. Um, here, I'll put the link in the chat for you guys. I'll put the link of the article in the chat. You guys can go read it if you want to. Um, there it is. Read that article. And then I'll also give you guys a link to this if you guys want to watch uh, these. Here it is. That's the link to the video I just showed. So uh, anyway, it's insane, man. It's totally insane how they, uh, I think I'm just going to come right back up with that. There we go. <laughs> Psych, just kidding. There I am. Oh, man. So let me go back and just scan some of these. You could get a soy beer. <laughs> when did that become a thing? Uh, since I haven't said one more right now. You know what? Actually, I don't know if I'm going to read all of these. What's up, my guy? What's up, guys? So I'm just going to give a shout out to everybody in here. We had Disabled Vet. He got, he might have got tired. We got Ian Pease. Thank you for hanging out. Gator, of course, I got Gator, my bruh. We got Dolores Harvey. What's up, Dolores? And... Gator, we got Christy, or Chrissy, Chrissy Ann. Don't have any trolls in here tonight. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it, Chrissy? And we got Nick Burns. Gator, you got yourself a Nazi drink you're sipping on, too? And we got Nick Burns in. And let's see if there's anybody else. Abigail Rose. What's up, Abigail? 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 Um, boom, bam, bop. See if there's anybody else. Nope, that's about it. Okay, guys, uh, it's 11:30 my time. Uh, again, this video went way longer than I thought, but 
it's a pretty interesting one if you want to go back and get, if i don't know when you all you guys got you know when i since i put that video up i think we only had three so i don't know when everybody came in but yeah joey gibson's getting sued on this whole thing and he's had many run-ins with antifa and so it's kind of crazy but um but yeah all right guys um rational wrong yeah you are kind of a troll rational yeah tommy robinson exactly he's been attacked uh where did that chrissy ann show t-shirt i didn't know there was a, a, a t-shirt chrissy ann i'm wearing the Joan tech man if i can adjust this down it's not too far down <laughs> drone tech's t-shirt supporting the local uh you know or the the, the uh the other content providers. I like Drone. He's a good guy. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it a night, though. I'm getting tired. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Um, I wanted to get this video up and uh, share it. It's pretty crazy. He's getting sued. Though I will say that crack at the end was not necessary, but that's not that's that that's not on Joey. That's not on Joey any more than all the crazy Antifa shit is is on it. You know the the supporters of uh, Antifa. Um, oh, I will, I will check one. I will. Are they free, Christiane? Do I do I get one for free, or do I have to pay good money? You're gonna make me pay good money. Wait for the answer. All right, man. Until next time. Every time I gotta say this every time Rational's here. Without fear of animals. <laughs> it's SJG perspective. It's actually without fear of animus. But uh that one's for that one's for uh I'm gonna have that's probably what gonna have, my shirt's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to say without fear of animals. It's gonna be our inside joke. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Mohammed uh, Aloha Snack Bar. Mohammed Aloha Snack Bar is in the chat, right as I'm about to get out. Mohammed, don't you have some goats you should be herding right now? <laughs> Message retracted. Oh. My head. Oh. It looks like more we scared off Mohammed. Mohammed Aloha Snack. No, 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 my friend. I traded them for 1994 Honda Civic. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, okay. I will. I will get a shirt. If all you guys will buy one. I'll buy one of I'll buy one of Chrissy Ann shirts and then you guys buy one of my Fear of Animal shirts. Without fear of animals. Why does my phone keep buzzing? Yeah. Um, what's that one say? Sorry, just checking my phone for something. No. Yeah, not the one doesn't want. Okay. It runs on my. <laughs> Italian, do not make me fun of me. I throw hummus in for added gas mileage. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get out. I'll leave the chat going for a minute here while I close up some things. You guys can chat, but I'm going to. I'm going to get out and uh, clear up some stuff. I did make it through the phone call or the, the live stream without a phone call this time. All right, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out. It's been real and it's been fun and it has been real fun. And uh, sorry, I wasn't responding to chats more. I was I had the full screen up and my chat window was behind us. So I didn't even know I had chats coming through. I'm going to have to get one of those dealios where the chats can roll up on screen. I'm going to have to do that. I'll figure out a better system or something. All right, though, until next time, without fear of animus and or without fear of animals, it's SJG Perspective, and I will talk to you guys when I talk to you. Have a good one. Good night. No royalties for you, Rational. I get all the money. No royalties for you, my friend. Good night. Mohammed Al Aloha Snack Bar. <laughs> no, no, trust me, I know bombs. <laughs> you are the bomb, trust me, I know bombs. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, I'm going to close it out now. Peace, later. <laughs>